Hey guys, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me today. This is a continuation of my highly requested videos that I have gotten from many of you and that is that I update my skincare routine. My previous video was my evening winter skincare routine. How, what, and if have I changed anything? If you haven't seen that, I will make sure that I link it below, above, wherever, so that you can go take a take a peek. But I do have to repeat, for those of you that are here looking for expert advice, I'm not even here to give you advice. I'm simply sharing what I'm doing for me. Some of you may think it's not working, it's not worth it. That's entirely up to you. I can tell you that I do look at my skin with a 10 time magnifying mirror every morning. It kind of turns my stomach, but I do. I monitor my skin very closely. I also listen to my skin. So my routine is going to change sometimes from day to day, but there are some things that stay the same, that are staples, that I, I do all the time. And one of those things that I've been doing very, very consistently for a long time now is when I wake up in the morning, I will wet down my face. I don't really feel that I have to do a deep cleanse. I don't feel that I have to do a deep cleanse at all. I feel that my evening routine, my skin, I went to bed pretty, you know, with very clean skin with my products on, my Retin-A, it all depends. So in the morning when I get up, I just kind of wet it down. And then I have been using this, I don't even know how long, but this is the Studio 35 Beauty Alpha, Alpha Hydroxy Face Cream. I get this at Walgreens. I'm sure you can get it anywhere, like maybe online, um, on Amazon, but I get mine at Walgreens and sometimes Walgreens has some really great sales. You should check the flyers, but you know, you can buy one, get, get the other half off or something. So this I use probably differently than anyone recommends that you use it. What I do for my skin, I'm not saying that you should do this, I'm not saying it would work for you, but for my skin, I wet my face in the morning and I put this on, I avoid my eye area, I don't go into the corners, you know, but I put this on very, very generously all over my face. Depending on what time I got up, depending on what time I have to leave, is going to depend on how long I leave this on my face. When I first started doing it, I could feel a little bit of a sting and I would wash it off. Now I'm very rarely feeling a sting at all, but on average, again, this is average, not every day, I would say, when I put this on, you can actually see, I'm, I'm not rubbing it in, it's not dissipating into my skin, you can actually see a white film, white cream on my face. But on average, I, I am anywhere between 15 to 30 minutes, up to 45 minutes with this on. And so then I'll walk around, I'll, I'll do whatever, I'll, you know, get, grab my coffee, I'll answer comments, I'll check my email, I'll do whatever. But then at one point I come into the bathroom and I take a, a very gentle old exfoliation type of a glove or any kind of a face cloth that you want. And then I wet it down and I wash it off. I don't leave it on, I, I wash it off. And sometimes when I'm gently rubbing it, I can see like my skin peeling, uh, peeling up, not skin coming off, but you know, that kind of like peely thing, little lumpy thing, skin. So, and then I do that. And then I rinse that off really good. Now, I have been known to use a sheet mask in the morning. And if I have time, I might put a sheet mask on. And then when I do my sheet mask, then I just kind of put everything all underneath it, let it dry. But on most mornings, if I don't have time for a sheet mask, then after that I'm going to use, depending if I had Retin-A the night before or not, but I'm going to use a toner. And of the three toners that I'm currently using, I would say the Ordinary Glycolic Acid 7% Toning Solution is my favorite. I also use Witch Hazel, non-alcoholic, and then I use this. Claire's K-L-A-R-S. This is, and I'm going to reorder this. I ordered this on Amazon. I cannot remember. I think it was, um, I can't remember exactly who it was that mentioned this. This is a Korean skincare. I ordered it on Amazon. I still have probably this much left. So after the holidays, I'm going to reorder this. I like this toner a lot. So these are my three toners currently that I'm using and I alternate depending on the day, depending on what's going on in my life and how quick and you know whether I did Retin-A or not. And then after that, I have been using, but I haven't used this long enough to really tell you anything great about it, but I am using an essence. And this, I've mentioned this a couple of times. This is the Advanced Snail 96. Mucian Power Essence. This is by a company called C-O-S-R-X. 
I think this is Natalie the Beauty Diva that I got this information from. I buy it off of Amazon. It's very, very affordable. So I will put that on my skin. And then, because I keep two of my products in the refrigerator, my vitamin C and my Matrixyl Sync 6, this is my vitamin C from Timeless. It's 20% C plus C plus ferulic acid serum. I've been using this for a number of years. I usually buy the refill bottle. I have a refill bottle in the, re in the freezer right now. This is empty. I'm going to recycle this bottle. And then I use my Matrixyl Sync 6. I alternate between the Matrixyls, but I have a number of this, a good amount left, and I have another bottle in the freezer. So I will continue to use it. So what I do is I go in the kitchen, I take my vitamin C, I put a dropper of it on, usually a good amount, on the palm of my hands, pat together, and I pat, 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 pat. pat. This is all happening like it, when I'm in the kitchen, it's like maybe a minute. So I, you know, after I have that in, I walk back to the refrigerator, I take out my Matrixel, I walk back to the counter. I might refill my coffee, I might do something else, but I kind of like want that to absorb a little bit in, but I, I usually don't wait longer than a minute. It might still be damp. Then I put a dropper of the Matrixel on and I just pat it and, you know, again, pat, 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 pat all over my skin. I let that really, really soak in. When I'm done that, my routine at this point in time is, I go start to do my mascara. So I'm sitting in the living room, I'm doing my eyelashes. Once my eyelashes are done, I've done my first coat of mascara or second coat of mascara, you should come in the bathroom. By this time, my serums are nice and dry. I really am loving, and I've mentioned this before, the Skindeva, the Hydrating Anti-Aging Infusion Spray. The only problem with this, it comes out like so super heavy. So I just spray it on my hands. That's all I've been doing, spray it on the palm of my hands. Tap, 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 tap. My skin is still damp when I take my hyaluronic acid. I'm finishing this up. I have another hyaluronic acid I'm gonna use after this, but I'm finishing this up. I'm very generous. This is my timeless pure hyaluronic acid. I put it in my hands. My skin may still be damp from the cucumber um, infusion spray, which is perfectly fine. And I put my hyaluronic acid on. And then I go back and I spray some more of the cucumber on. Now, somebody said if you layer it, it will help it. It'll be better with the hyaluronic acid. I can't remember who said that. I'm so sorry. Sometimes it's so hard. You know, I learn so much from other, other content creators on YouTube, other beauty divas, so to speak. Although I, I'm not saying I'm a beauty diva, but I do learn a whole lot from some of the other women that I watch, and I sometimes can't remember who said what. But anyways, I did hear somebody say layering it, and so for the last two weeks or so, I think I've been layering it. So after I do my hyaluronic acid, I spray some more of this on my skin and my hands, and I pat it onto my face. So at that point in time, I usually go back in the living room, and I might be finishing up my eyelashes, who knows. I let all that soak in, you know, let my skin drink it all up, but then I come in the bathroom, and I'm going to, at this point in time, use one of my oils. It's all gonna depend on my skin. So my oils of choice are, I love the Ordinary Squalene. I've been using this one for a long time. I like this, it's very light. I have one of these in the office and I have it in a little bottle that I bought off of Amazon, a little blue bottle that I put it in for my purse. And when I'm feeling super dry, I'll just dab it on right on top of my makeup because it's a really light oil for me. If I need a heavier base oil, it's either going to be the marula oil, which when I do put it on my face, here's how I do it. I take a dropper, I put it on my face, I pat, 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 and I go very lightly because it's heavier oil. Then I take it like this and I go through my hair, the edges of my hair, to give my hair a little bit of food. And I go on my face, go down my neck, whatever, as much as possible. And then the other oil that I prefer, that I like a lot, is, is I use this as a carrot oil. I just bought this off at Amazon. I'll link it for anyone that has any interest in this. So I bought this off at Amazon quite a while ago. I think it was, I want to say it was Susan Little Poet that talked about this particular one, but initially first talked about carrot oil. I, I heard from Susan Little Poet she, Poet, she was absolutely loving this carrot oil or a carrot oil, and I said, carrot oil. So I went and I bought the carrot oil. I love it, Susan. So yeah, this is like one of my three choices. 
And at that point in time, I usually sit with it, my roller, my jade roller, and I, it, I just feel it really can help. I used to keep this in the refrigerator. I no longer do that. I don't, it stays cold. So I kind of like just like hopefully let everything, you know, just kind of massage everything in. It also feels really good. Some mornings when I get up before I put my alpha hydroxy in, if I'm really poofy, and sometimes I use like the eye, I think I mentioned, maybe I didn't, I thought I mentioned it, but I have like eye, I don't have them in here, like little eye patches, I'll put those on. And then I'll kind of massage it a little very gently with the smaller end going up and down to help kind of eliminate some of the eye bags, you know, those ugly, ugly eye bags. So at that point in time, I focus in on my eyes, I have my face oil on, I have it massaged in. I normally will take a little bit of my Olay Pro Retinol, I'll dab it on just like I did at night and I will just dab it into the crow's feet. I am going to do my top products of 2018 and I, I'm, this is definitely, I'm going to talk about this because this is definitely one of them. But I, I really, I use that every, every morning and every night. I like it. And then I feel that my eyes need a little bit more hydration. I've been using my Timeless Eye Cream. I'm probably gonna try another eye cream, I'm not too sure, but that's typically what I do. I also, if I need a little more around my mouth, a little more cream, I will, I'll take the It's Secret Sauce. And I usually use this around my smoker's wrinkles. I don't smoke, but I did. So I usually use that. So I let all of that dry. Now I know I'm not doing a makeup thing, but I do let that all dry. And then at that point in time, when that's all dry, I might finish with my eyes, letting it all soak in. I, I've been using, and I absolutely love the mascara that I've been using lately, and it, it's like awesome. But I've been using the Pure uh, P-U-R mascara and primer that was sent to me via the Octoline Network. I've already talked about that, but I really like that a lot. So I've been using that mascara and I do, you know, my two coats of mascara, my eyes are that, at that point in time usually totally fine. And then I come in the bathroom and I prime my face and I am not gonna buy a new primer until I go through the primers that I have. And I've been using many different primers and I keep going back to, you know, saying which, what do I like the best? Because I think when I'm done all this primer, you know, tryouts, I'm going to hopefully figure out which one I really like the best. And obviously I'll share that with you, but so then I will prime my face. And then from that point on, um, my foundation, I love, love, love my number seven Lift and Illuminate. I absolutely love that foundation. And for me, for me, it works really well. I really love it. And, and I will share with you a product that I got. This I am like so, I'm, this was gifted to me by number seven via the Octoly Network and this came in the mail and I was like, oh, I felt like a little girl at Christmas time. It was like unbelievable. I haven't opened it, but let me just tell you, number seven, they have, oh my gosh, I will let you know how I like this. Protect and Perfect Intense Advanced Day Cream Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 30 made in the UK. I'm not going to go through all the ingredients, but that's that's in there. And then they have number seven, Protect and Perfect Advanced Intense Serum. Wow, I'm looking forward to this. Advanced Eye Cream. Oh yes, that's me. And then I have a Protect and Perfect Lip Care. Can you imagine? Then number seven, Radiant Results Revitalizing Hot Cloth Cleanser. Wow. And then Radiant Results Revitalizing Oil-Free Eye Makeup Remover. And what did, you know, what did I say in my evening? I use oil-free on my Care Pros night, so I'm really happy with that. And then number seven, Radiant Results Revital Revitalizing Toning Water. And then a Nourishing Hydration Mask. I cannot wait. I know you're seeing probably the reflection of my light, but I literally cannot wait to use some of this stuff. I feel like a kid at Christmas time when I got this. So I did request this. This was via the Octoly Network and this was gifted to me from number seven in exchange for a review and my honest opinion. So I will definitely let you know my honest opinion on that. I just wanted to share that with you because you know, you guys all know that I love my number seven. What you don't know that I also use, and I don't think it has this in here, but number seven has a City Lights moisturizer, 
this is a tinted moisturizer and it actually let me just share this with you since we're doing morning routine right it actually is and can you see it's like a little it's it's flesh toned and if you've never tried it if you've never tried this moisturizer i i consider this a day moisturizer and i consider i gotta wipe this off this is a tinted moisturizer with sunscreen yes it's only 15 spf but i have on weekends especially when i'm not going out anywhere i've just worn this all day long and without anything else so i've actually put this on and then maybe a little bit blush later on i run to the store on weekends now during the week when i'm going to work there are some times that i actually do put this on and then put my makeup on but more often than not i'm using this when i'm not really wearing any of the foundation and i i love it so number seven you guys i mean i you know i love number seven i've tried a number of different number seven but this is still the lift and illuminate foundation is still my favorite so i wanted to throw that in there because it was all about my morning routine and it certainly isn't a get ready with me or talking about how i apply my makeup because you know i just do it whatever which way but mostly my skincare is pretty religious you know i have a lot of the same products i am going to be looking at uh, trying a different vitamin c I am going to probably, once I'm done with my my timeless Matrixel, I have a replacement in the freezer, but I have another bottle of Matrixel that I'm gonna try. So I'm gonna go through that. And then this is all gonna empty out in the perfect time for me to try some of the number seven, or all actually all of the number seven that I have here. I think that is gonna be awesome. So I'm so looking forward to trying that. I will definitely let you guys know. Thanks so much for watching. As always, I appreciate every single one of you.